are some signs of insulin resistance. Doctor, can you walk us through these and explain them? Sure, so a lot of people suffer from these feelings and issues. So uh, the inability to lose weight, like we had talked about, uh, that center <laughs> fat that just doesn't want to go anywhere. Uh, cravings of sugar. So a lot of people, as they start to eat healthy and they're doing good, they feel like they're going to have a heart attack if they can't have their chocolate at the end of the day. Um, but that's also a sign of insulin resistance. Um, hot flashes, uh, you know, before the time you're actually even, you know, postmenopausal. Um, swings in your energy level, you suffer from fatigue, uh, memory loss can occur, and of course, heart disease being a huge one. And let's get into some tips to improve insulin sensitivity. And uh, some of these are tips are very familiar, but let's see which ones you recommend, doctor. Go ahead. So you can increase your fiber at least by 35, you should do more than 35 uh, grams per day of your fiber intake. Um, have a protein with every single one of your meals. Uh, you have to eat regularly, so try to front load your calories. Uh, don't eat a huge dinner, try to eat a really good breakfast and then just kind of spread them out evenly. Mm -hmm. But the earlier you do it in the day, the better it the is because the is. less glucose is sitting around at night when you go to sleep. Uh, increasing your omega-3 fats, so of course getting your avocados in there and you know eliminating the trans fats again. So, <clears throat> And salmon is good, right? Absolutely. Very oh, good. Salmon is very yeah. good.